There is one more option in this game. It's in, in the menu that will actually do wonders for you. I'm doing it right now, actually. Um, it, it's called, um, you ready? You ready? Here was good, everyone. Finally back in here, giving y'all some tech and content here. Um, I want to talk about just, um, just some general concepts and techniques and tips and tricks, really, for any sort of level of player, whether you are just starting off or you're a little bit of an intermediate trying to see how you can get better. Um, I am trying to give you these three steps, the three techniques that could potentially better your game. Um, the last technique I want to talk about is a secret technique that I have developed myself that I have actually found has done wonders for me. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. Um, and you might be surprised because you might have already used that technique a lot more than what you think you have. So when I make you aware of that, it might do you some good. So let's get started here. The first technique I want to talk about is if you're a struggling player, especially against a certain character and you have no idea what to do, my replays and tips is going to be your it's gonna it's gonna be your savior when it comes to knowing what to do when you don't know what to do. Right? So in this case, I don't know the Eliza matchup at all. Just because I won, won, she won, and then she, you know, then left, um, didn't mean that I knew the matchup, right? Did, or didn't mean I knew the matchup and I knew what I was doing, because to be honest, I didn't, right? But even then, going to my replays and tips and diving in here real quick, um, we're going to see how helpful it could be. My only, like, thing about this is the fact that, um, the what is it i think the frame data i'm not too sure if that's still paid like you still have to pay for that which i thought was kind of whack to be honest Round one. but uh anyways you, you still have other ways to kind of tell like frame data and stuff like that right anyways so we'll start off here when you press start you immediately have this option menu right and you have your command history which is just what you've pressed in the match as you can see what does that look like that's my movement right so we can see what I'm doing in that. And all I'm doing, the reason why I'm mashing one or two or one plus two together is I'm just trying to catch a tech roll just in case there's a sudden pause in in the combo or maybe she drops it, you know, I can get right back up on my feet. So tech rolling in the middle of a combo is something I, it's actually been helpful. It's gotten me out of bad situations, but that, that's another technique for another video, a little bit more technical. Um, so that's what the command history does. You have your health gauge, you can display or hide it. Um, your player attack info is just your damage, so that looks like how much damage you're gonna put, how much damage you've done total, and how much damage you've done in a max combo, etc. Um, as well, same thing for the other player. Hit properties, I would say definitely display this, because that's gonna tell you what moves are low, mid, and high. Um, especially for a new player who may not know the properties of certain moves, you may be surprised that you can duck moves that don't look like you can, they can be ducked, right? So this might really teach you a lot and it's taught me a lot so i would definitely display this while you're no matter what you're doing display this so you can kind of get a sense of what moves so your eyes get familiarized with what moves are high mid, and low right it's, it starts to help it really starts to help highly encourage it um the recovery animation you can do i believe that is the um the frame data but the, not the detailed frame data it just turns you blue see so i mean not super um not super informative, to, in my opinion. I, I'm kind of looking at this. And whoever's in blue is in the middle of an animation. So when that blue disappears, that means that you are free to move. That's what that is. So, however, if you have the detailed display like I do down here, it's going to tell you a lot more. So if you have that, if you can spend a little bit of cash, which, again, whack. That's going to te teach you a lot. But even then, there's just plenty of YouTube videos out there that tell you this stuff. There's plenty of things that in online articles on Reddit, I'm sure, and everything that tell you this stuff too. You know, it's just useful to have in the game. Um, if you're new to the game, recommended punishment techniques will tell you exactly what you should do depending on if you block a move that you could have punished. This is not really going to be super helpful for me because I normally get the punishes. But, um, I mean, we could display it just in case to see what that looks like. Right? You see how it's not really coming up? Because for me, this move can be punished after evading it with the crouch. So you see, like, I was thinking that was a high, but I wasn't too sure. 
but this tells you exactly what it is so great another great um another great option to have in this game another great mechanic to have if you're learning this game and recommend the sample combos is if you're still learning how to do the combos in this game right um pause during recommendations if you want to take a second and pause and see what's going on here you can do that or you could turn it off um so it's totally up to you um now going to the next technique here um since we cover that another technique that is really helpful there's something that has really propelled my um uh, my gameplay especially with how um my confidence in armor king finding people that are better than you is gonna do you wonders because they're gonna teach you the hard way of how to use you know of how the game operates right and especially if it's your own character if you're using like trust me even at yaksa i get my my rear end whooped by armor kings and tech and god you know and it's inspiring to see because i'm like i learned something new right it's super 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 helpful stuff that you could use um as well even if you're bored right and you don't want to go through all the technical terms of like oh man you know I gotta, uh, I gotta know frames and like, I gotta learn how to wave dash or I gotta do this or that. Like, no, what you can do, literally, just go ahead and just find videos uh, of the best players out there in tournaments. Now, you may not be using those characters in a tournament setting, right? Because, you know, you're just playing the game for fun, I'm assuming. Or maybe you are taking it serious, but you're not at a tournament level, right? Um, it's still gonna teach you the biggest things that it's gonna teach you is what the player decides to do in this given situation so taking a pause here just real quick if you look at um our um this fight here if let's say like hey i want to learn armor king but i don't really know what to do right i can go ahead and tell you like hey okay so just by looking at this round right or something like that um come on gpu See, he breaks the floor and, you know, I break the, um, that's funny. I guess, um, I guess it glitched. Funny. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Um, anyways, if you're an Armor King player and then you're like, hey, I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation or I feel clunky. I don't feel like I'm moving fast with him. I could be like, yeah, so, I mean, in this case, if you don't know what to do in, in the neutral, right? When the neutrals and the two people are just sitting there waiting for the next move to happen. Um, I would be like, yeah, so as you can see, I approach with a, you know, with a cross dash one, which catches him, right? That's a nice move to do, right? In the neutral. Don't do it too much because it does end in a high. Um, or I can do a forward, forward two, or, you know, do a grab mix up, right? So in this case, I'm like, oh, hey, Noah, Noah Slice, like, what do I do after I do it? Get the dark, um, get the crouch dash one, right? I'm like, well, a forward four is guaranteed. Um, and that, that is all shown through repetitiveness of when you're watching people that are better than you, right? And whether it's tournament videos, um, your favorite YouTubers, or meeting people in player matches or session matches that just utterly destroy you, you learn something at the end of the day, right? So that is that is the beauty of watching people and looking at people that are better than you. Moving on to the last and secret technique that I am talked about. Let's say none of that works, right? You've watched techniques, you've watched videos, you've learned things about the character, and for some reason, it's still not working out, right? You've seen some slight improvements, but meaning about the improvements that you're wanting to see. There is one more option in this game. It's in, in the menu that will actually do wonders for you. I'm doing it right now, actually. Um, it, it's called, um, ready? You ready? The quit button in this game. If all else fails, quit the game. Take a break. Just turn it off. I don't know. It's it's not going to work if you keep going head on. Sometimes you just need to just take a second, man. And just, you know what? I'm going to come back to it. Not tomorrow. Not in an hour. Not after I eat or may take a shower. Like, take a good week, my guy. Like, for real, like, take a good week or two and just not play the game. Watch things about it, you know, still have your fun and, and study, 
And you'll start to kind of have that crave to kind of go back and, and play the game again. And you're gonna the game's gonna be more fun. You know, we don't don't let Tekken frustrate you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I mean that's that's about it. You know, if that that last technique is not working for you. Or excuse me. You know, if if you really feel like you're hitting that block in the game, then you just like, yo, I have no idea what the else to do. What do I do to fix that, man? Man, like, what do you do? Stop playing the game. Just, just, for, just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. You know? Nothing crazy. 